I'm Alex. I'm Ale. And, and welcome, welcome to Wildcat, Wildcat Weekly. Weekly. To start off, make sure you go to MayfieldDMP.com to find our YouTube channel and other pages, and it gives you a better opportunity to meet the students. To add to that, this week's first segment is interviewing Miss Bright, a former Mayfield student at Mayfield High School. Where are you? Where are you? You're so late. Wait, the interview's today. I'm here with Emily Isabella and Mrs. Bright, and my name's Sophia Leffler, and we're going to be interviewing her about Mayfield and Wildcat Weekly. So you went to Mayfield, so how does it feel to be teaching here now? I think it's super exciting. It's kind of like a weird and happy feeling. Like I know where I'm going every day, which is different than a lot of new teachers. They have to kind of like find out where to go, especially being in art. I have multiple different classrooms. What is your favorite memory from Wildcat Weekly? Ooh, I remember one episode we filmed in one of my friend Emma's car. Uh, we were in her convertible and we were kind of driving around filming like an intro. Mm -hmm. and it was really funny because everyone kind of jumped in the convertible really silly. <laughs> and it was just a fun episode because we got to go um, after school um, to do these different assignments. Is it hard and weird for you to call your former teachers by their first names? It is. It's definitely, I'm like, I don't even know their first names. They're like, you can call me by my first names. I'm like, truly, I don't, I don't even know your first name. So it, it's definitely a new process, and I still feel like as a first-year teacher, there's some level of respect that you still want to give the teacher. So it's just kind of finding out who wants me to call them what and getting used to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you have to teach that you don't like teaching? Oh, my gosh, no, not at all. Mm -hmm. I, like, love teaching it all, and it's so crazy because there's a lot of different classes that I teach, but no one. At least not yet. There's mm -hmm. not a single thing. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> okay, so we have a research staff, and we pulled up some old clips for you oh, no. to take a walk down memory lane. Okay. So for your favorite memory here mm -hmm. today. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. I always do the awkward peace signs. <laughs> I remember I was sliding back and forth like I could not catch a grip on the leather seats I mean she must have go she must have been going like way too fast in that parking lot for sure and here's oh, the next no. one I'm Brian DeLugas I'm Hannah Bright and I'm Jimmy Gaudier replacing the sick Nick Osberg and oh, wow. Okay. I must have been a junior in that. Oh, oh yeah, that's some of them are shorter. Okay, oh. <laughs> that was a quick one. Okay. Check out my room. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, no. Okay. And today's riddle is. I like being punny. <laughs> I don't even remember the answer. How many didn't? I don't know. <laughs> oh gosh. I remember this one. Tell me why Oh, that was such a good one. <laughs> I remember that was definitely one of my favorites, too. It was really cool getting to work with the principal at the time, Mr. Legan, who I know some of you had. Oh, more of me. He was singing along to the music in the cafeteria. Do you remember what he was singing? I think it was the song, I Want It That Way. I remember I blinked so many times. I'm like, why am I blinking so much? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of Wildcat Week. NFL Week 5 of Tailgate Talk with your hosts, Nate and Matt. So, just like last week, we're going to get into it. Uh, I'm going to talk about my disappointing, surprising player. I know Matt's going to go over his starts and sits, boom and busts for the week. Um, so, my disappointing player was Chris Olave, wide receiver for the Saints. 
Uh, prior weeks, he put up 16, 13, 18 good fantasy numbers. Uh, week four was just a disappointment. Put up only one catch for four yards, 1.4 points. Not good enough. Uh, but Cole Komet, on the other hand, surprising player of the week. Justin Fields finally looked like a quarterback, and because of that, his team flourished. Cole Komet had two different touchdowns, had a bunch of yards, a bunch of catches for uh, 27.6 points. Wow. All right, so now we're going to get into uh, Matt's segment. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, oh, we got to interrupt oh, for a second. Oh, Sorry, oh. you got to get out. Oh, oh, all right, yeah, all right, thank all right. you. All right, so there's been some pretty recent updates in the football world. There's been a crossover between the Swifties and the football fans. Taylor Swift was recently spotted at a Kansas City Chiefs game sitting in a box with the one and only Donna Kelsey, mom of both Travis and Jason Kelsey. Now, if you don't know who Travis Kelsey is, you're probably a Swiftie who's never seen a football game in their entire life. And if you're a football fan and don't know who Taylor Swift is, that's also a problem. Catch us at the end of the episode when we're going to be asking Swifties football questions. And football fans Taylor Swift questions. Alright, that's, that's enough for that. Get out of here. So we're done talking about Taylor Swift. Back to the, uh... Back to the stuff that actually matters. Fans yeah. football. Alright, Matt, so All right. before you were so... Sorry for the interruption now. We got my boom, bus, or starter sits this week. I'm going to start with a big start. Popped off last week, going to do it again this week. Isaiah Pacheco. Looks like he's... Mahomes State looks like he's angry at the ground when he's running. And then sit, George Pickens. Very good receiver, but with Mitch Trubisky as a starting quarterback, already not getting too much with Pickett anyway, so... Just sit him. All right, now it's time for another fantasy draft. But first, punishment time. Oh, I was able to win last week. Uh, draft a great team. So now, Nate is going to get the ba Bean Boozle. All right. All right. Take it for you. And we got either Booger or Pear. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, here you go. All right. We have a trash can right here. I'm hoping I don't need it. All uh, right. You deserve to get the worst like I did. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. That was awful. It's all in my mouth. Oh my god. There's booger everywhere. Oh my god. That was horrible. Nah. Well, it happened to me last week. Your turn. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to get into Jurassic oh. Teams. After that horrible, horrible punishment. Uh, it's just time to do it all over again. Pick yeah. teams. All right, so we'll start with quarterback. All right, go ahead, Matt. I go first? All right, I got Lions, Jared Goff. All right, I got Bills, Josh Allen. Oh, dude. All right, so now our running backs. I got Commanders, so Brian Robinson. I got the Giants, so I get Saquon Barkley. Bro. Who's coming back this week? And our receivers. Chiefs, I'll take Rashi Rice. Uh, I got the Falcons, so I'll take Drake London. Mm. Uh, and tight ends. Tight end. Last, I got Cowboys. That's Ferguson, right? Yeah. Uh, I got the Seahawks, so they're on a bye, so I'll just have to pick again. I'll pick again. And I got the Eagles, so I'll be taking Dallas Goddard. Ah. I'm going to take this weekend to watch some football and recover <laughs> from the booger. But, uh... We'll see you guys next week on, uh, on Tailgate. Fantasy football. I see so many emotions going around during this, and I know for me, I get very upset when I'm watching the Browns play every Sunday. Sometimes I'll go to the games because my dad has seasonal tickets, but it's very mixed emotions while watching the game. Now, for me, I don't watch football that often, but I agree with Alex. There's a lot of emotions going through everyone. Next up, we got the Bean Boozled Challenge. The students this week went up to teachers and students and asking them what uh, about Bean Boozled, seeing what good flavor or bad flavor they get. Um, do you guys want a chance to get a uh, Bean Boozled? Okay. Okay, guys, so everyone's being disrespectful to us. And to Charlie. Oh, okay. um, there's a kid in the comments. Oh, there's a kid in the comments, perfect. Excuse me? Do you want a chance to get Bean Boozled? It's like a little jelly bean, it tastes good. But it's like a random job you got like. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right. What's your name? Yeah. All right. I'm here with you said. Jacob. I'm here with Jacob, and uh, he's gonna get. We're gonna see if he's gonna get be boozled. So take whatever what you want. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Let's get it over. With.
All right, everyone. We're here with Cam, and today we're gonna see who's gonna get bean boozled and get his reaction. So, I'm gonna bring over. Here's your jelly bean that you'll be trying today. <laughs> what is it? I don't even. Um, turns out that was stinky socks. So uh, he just ate stinky socks. So. We're here with Miss McCarty. Today she's going to be seeing if she's going to get uh, bean boozled. Okay. I'm watching you chew. <laughs> kind of gross. That's probably like. Did it show you? Did you see that? It's either booger or juicy pear. So you probably just ate a booger. I ate a booger. <laughs> yep. It's my son. Here we go. Want to do a bean boozle real quick? What's that? It's a jelly bean, so like it's a random flavor. Okay. And you gotta guess the flavor. Okay. All right. And we'll get your reaction. Yeah, it's dry. What does it taste like? It tastes like some white, creamy kind of. <laughs> what? You, well, you got toasted marshmallow. That's cool. Is it good? All right. Thank you. All right. I'm here with John, and today we're gonna see if he's gonna get um. Being boozled, so. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we got one. I'm here with Skylar Blount, and today she's gonna be trying to get bean boozled. So, <laughs> whoever the camera over here for their reaction of the good jelly beans she'll be tasting today. <gasps> oh, that no. Oh God. Oh, it's okay. It's gonna be no. All right, everyone, I am here with Ariana Brunello, and she will be trying to see if she's going to get bean boozled. So here we go. We have a great flavor, and we're going to get a reaction. Oh, God. I'm going to get this. Ew. <laughs> liver and onions? I mean, yeah, like, what are the chances you get liver and onions? I don't know. One out of two. What is that, 20? Yeah. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. <laughs> he has a uh, jelly bean here, he's going to be trying it, and I'm here with Izzy, so let's do it, let's get your reaction. <laughs> Does that actually... Alright, so it turns out he unfortunately just tried barf. Alright, well, unfortunately the, a bonus round was um, me trying five flavors, random flavors. Um, I was not made aware of this until uh, like five seconds ago, but you know what? Um, I'm just gonna try because why not? So here we got five flavors here. Um, they look delightful. Ugh, all right, we're just gonna get it over with. Three, two, one. I'm gonna try it you. I'm gonna try it you. <laughs> Alright, so right now I'm here with uh, Angela. Alright, and he's gonna spin the wheel. Alright, what is your favorite grade? I like year. Yeah. Probably eighth grade. Eighth grade. It's my favorite. Okay. I'm here with Lucy Moran. And she's going to spin the wheel. Okay, what's your screen time? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, got to pull this up. It's a lot. <laughs> Ooh, five hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm here with Gabby Papiano. And she's going to spin the wheel. Oh, that was fun. favorite app. Um, probably TikTok. I use it a lot. Thank you. I'm here with JD Sega, and he's gonna spin the wheel. Dream vacation. Italy. Today I'm here with TJ Grzbowski. All right, and he's gonna spin the wheel. That's Best cool. ice cream flavor. 
Um, Moose Tracks. Never heard of that? It's great. No. You're weird. Today we're with... Gavin. And he's going to spin a wheel. What? Just spin it again. Spin it again. Better. All right, you got to show us your screen time. My screen time? Ooh. <laughs> like for the week or for the day? Week. Week. Or like so. your daily average. It's going to be bad. Okay. Five hours and 42 minutes. It's not terrible. It's not the worst, but... It's not the best. If you're wondering where the teachers went, it's the students' turn this week and the next couple of weeks to spin the wheel. To add on, we also got the art challenge this week again. This week's logo is the Batman logo. Hey guys, welcome back to the art challenge. This week is a special week because it's all students drawing, and they'll be drawing the Batman logo to see who can be the final one to reserve their spot in the championship in the next episode. Let's get it. I'm here with Stephanie, and she's going to be drawing the Batman logo. I'm here with Yusuf Kareem, and he's going to be drawing the Batman logo. All right, I'm here with Lil, and she's going to be drawing the Batman logo. OK, I'm here with Dexter. He won last week, so let's see if he can repeat or whatever happens. All right, our last participant is Isaiah, and he does the trivia that once was on Wildcat Weekly, so. All right, guys, we have our final five artists here, or with the star D ranking them. Last place, Yusuf Kareem. You know, um, this was a very not Batman looking. It's quite interesting. Yeah. Uh, Last I, I checked, he didn't have a face, and yeah, it's not. Got the face. It looks like a sunshine. Yeah. So. All right. Fourth place, Ryan. Will you do the honors? I will. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to Dexter. <laughs> um, it wasn't colored in. It was a good like outline there, but he didn't put the oval, so that's points off. And then he didn't color it in, so that's even more points off. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Um, just basically a part two. We didn't know what the bell was going to ring. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's so get back into it. Starting All right. from where we left off. Third Number place. Three. I'm Lil. sorry, but, it, you know, it's not that good of a bat shape. Kind of not symmetrical on the wings. And kind of kind of just no oval makes it kind of worse. So. Second place. Second place. Go ahead. Oh. Stephanie, I'm sorry. It could have been a little bit better. Like, you could have got the um, other part of the wing. And it kind of looks like a bat. I like that. It's like like the classic logo. But um, it's just not good enough. All right. So that means our winner of this week's art challenge has reserved his spot in the championship. Congrats to Isaiah. Good oval, nice, nice neat bat. Um, good silhouette and everything. So congrats to Isaiah for winning this week. Yep. And we'll see you in the championship. Okay guys, the segment you've finally been waiting for. Today we're gonna be going around the school asking different people if they're Swifties or football fans. Let's get right to it. I'm here with Connor Moss. And would you consider yourself a Swiftie or a football fan? A football fan. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you questions about Taylor Swift. Um, what year was she born? It's an album title. Oh, 1944. Wow, 89. <laughs> um, what is Taylor's current tour called? Music. Era's tour. <laughs> what was Taylor's first album called? Swifty. Taylor Swift, thank you. I'm here with... Manny Rogers. And would you consider yourself a football fan or a Swifty? A football fan. So now I'm going to ask you Taylor Swift questions. How many number one songs does Taylor have? Five. Nine. 
Taylor's album is coming out at the end of the month? Um, 1989. <laughs> Thanks, Daya. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see, do you remember the answer for the last one? What is Taylor's current tour called? Arrows, I didn't know that. Thank you. Okay, who am I here with? Peyton. And Peyton, are you a Taylor Swift fan or a football fan? Taylor Swift. Okay, so now I gotta ask you some football thing- <laughs> questions. <laughs> okay, so one, do you know who Travis Kelsey is? Yes. So what team does he play for? The Chiefs. And do you know who his brother is? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what team he, or I mean, do you know what position he plays? No. <laughs> okay, who am I here with? Hi, I'm Mr. Deaton. <laughs> and would you say you are a football fan or a Swifty? <laughs> Be honest. Uh, more of a football fan than a Swifty. All right, then I'd ask you some Swifty questions. Great. Question number one. What year was Taylor Swift born? 1989. Yes. Because her album is 1989. Good. Okay, good. Um, Next question is, what album is being released at the end of the month? Oh, the Taylor edition of something. Yeah. Um, Is this in the the trivia? (sighs) You know this. It's not the same album, is it? I just know it's a Swift edition of one of the albums. I, I couldn't know. tell Take you which guess. one. Take a guess. I'm going to say with the theme. I'm going to say 1989, but I know it's... Is it right? Yep. Yes. Yep. And then All right. My last... wife's going to be proud of me. <laughs> last question. What is Taylor Swift's current tour called? Oh, the Eros tour. Eras. Yeah. 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 Oh, and then also, who is she currently maybe dating? Football player. Oh, Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Thank you. Who am I here with? Uh, Michael Papiano. And would you say you are a football fan or a switch? Um, I definitely say football fan. Okay, so now I gotta ask you a few Taylor Swift questions. Oh God. Okay, first question. Okay. What year was she born? Oh God. I'll give you a hint. Nineteen eighty nine, right? I don't know. Er, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> um, next question is, how many number one hits has she had? Mm. Can I ask a question? <laughs> sure. Um, is it over under seven? Over. Mm. I'm gonna say twelve. Nine. Dang. What football players on the team is currently Oh, come on now. Come on now. Travis Kelsey, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Who am I here with? Hannah Rell. And would you consider yourself a football fan or a Swifty? Football fan. So we're actually going to ask you Taylor Swift theme questions. So, what year was she born in? No idea. I'm going to say 1988. 1989. So close. Um, what is her current tour called? Eras. Yes. And then last last question. What was her first album title? Don't overthink this. Is that the one where like teardrops on my guitar? Like OG Taylor Swift? Is that like that album? Yeah. <laughs> I honestly Taylor Swift? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I know that I'm gonna be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, who am I here with? Gabby Fabiano. And Gabby, do you know anything about Travis Kelsey? Yeah, I do. He's <laughs> a tight end on the uh, Chiefs. Good job. Okay, so would you say you're a Swifty or a football fan? Laura? I'm a Swifty, but I am a football fan. So Okay, okay, yeah. good. And then I got to ask you, what number is Travis Kelsey? He is 87. <laughs> yep, and do you know his famous brother? Yep, Jason Kelsey. And, and what he's team? on the Eagles. Good job. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Okay, who am I here with? Skylar Kettner. And Skylar, are you a Swifty or a football fan? A Swifty. Okay, so since you're a Swiftie, I'm going to ask you a few football questions. Okay. So one, do you know who Travis Kelsey is? I do. Okay, what position does he play? Mm, I don't know position. <laughs> what team is he on? The Chiefs. Um, who's his brother? Irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you prove Swifties don't know football. All right, what's your name? Sam. All right, what's your favorite part of Donuts for Donuts? Being with your parents or the donuts? Uh, probably being with my parents. All right, who am I here with? Gianna. 
So what's your favorite type of donut? Chocolate. What's your favorite part of donuts with grown-ups? Um, finding them and sitting with them. Alright, who am I here with? Alan. Alright, what's your favorite donut? Alright, who am I here with? Kyle Woody. Uh, why do you like being with donuts and grown-ups? Like, why do you like coming? I like to be able to see my son in uh, his school setting amongst his friends, and it's uh, just a nice time to share with my son. Who am I here with? Uh, Joe. Uh, why do you like being uh, with, at Donuts with grown-ups? Well, I love being here with my youngest son. It's a lot of fun. Um, you get to see his school a little bit, get to see him interact, and of course, donuts are a big plus too. If you want to get a better look at the team, see all our links, go to MayfieldEMP.com. See you next week on the next episode.